Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to send WhatsApp messages on Elementor form submission. So let's say that you are receiving new leads through Elementor form submissions and here every time a new response is received, then you want to send a welcome message to the new lead. So the moment this form is filled by the user, then automatically a WhatsApp message will be received by the user. Now to do this, we will have to integrate Elementor forms with WhatsApp by AI Sensei and we can do the same using Pabli Connect. So here your trigger will be Elementor and your action application will be WhatsApp by AI Sensei. Now how can you integrate and automate this process? To understand, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, you simply will have to sign in. And if you are a new user, sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you are going to get 100 free tasks so that you can absolutely explore this application. Okay, now once you reach the dashboard, on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow, click on this. Now this dialog box has appeared. Here you will have to name this workflow. You can give any random name and I'm going to name it as per my objective which is to send WhatsApp messages on Elementor form submission. Here I'm going to click on create. And as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions basically are those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. So trigger here is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now, let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get an automated response on WhatsApp or text about the amount debited. Now, how does that happen with the help of automation? And in such a case, your trigger application will be the payment gateways and your action application will be applications with the help of which you can send us WhatsApp messages or receive these SMSs. Now, let's come to our use case. Here, my trigger application will be element of then we have the trigger event. So the trigger event here will be new form submission. So every time a new form is submitted and let's say that with the help of this form submission, you have received a new lead, then automatically a WhatsApp message must be received by this new lead. So here my action application will be WhatsApp by AI Sensei and the action event here will be to send template message. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my trigger step and here you can see we have received this webhook URL. So this URL is actually going to act as a bridge for connecting Elementor and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this and once this is done, so here we have to follow the following steps. So this is the help text given. Now I'm going to take you to Elementor account and these are the various forms that I've already created. Let's say that I wish to work on this contact form. So the moment you have selected the form on which you want to work, then the first thing that you have to do is, so you can see this is the contact form. I'm going to click on edit. And as I do that here, we have got all the fields, first name, last name, email address, contact number and age. Now, if you want to add more items, you can do it from here. If you want to delete, you can always delete by clicking on this cross option. Now, I have to go down and as I do that, here we have actions after submit. As I click on this, so here we have to add actions that will be performed after the visitor submits this form. So here, what do I want to add? I want to add webhook. So I'm going to click on this plus icon and this here is the webhook. Now here we have webhook. Let's go here and I am going to delete the previous URL that we have here. Okay, and this URL that we had just received, I'm going to copy this and here I'm going to paste the same. Now, once this is done, I'm just going to click on update and now I'm going to preview the page. Now here it is saying fill out and submit the form. So I am going to now fill out this form. So let's say the first name here is smart. The last name here is user567. Then we have the email address, which is user567 at pablitudes.com. Then we have the contact number, which is plus 91. Then we have the age. Let's say the age is 25. I'm going to click on submit. So here we can see that the form has been submitted. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see we have received the response. So this here is the form name. This here is the form ID. Then we have the last name, first name, email address, contact number and age. So once I have received this information, I want to send a WhatsApp message to this user welcoming him on board. So here I'm going to 
go to my action step which is whatsapp by ai sensei let's click on connect and here public connect wants to connect with whatsapp by ai sensei account since we are setting up this connection for the first time i'm going to select add new connection and now to set up this connection we need this api key so i've already logged into my ai sensei account and now what do we have to so we have to find the api key by navigating to manage then api key and generate api key so let me take you to my ai sensei account now here on the left hand side we can see manage click on this go to api key and here we have got this api key so i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and paste this over here click on save so here we can see that the connection is all set now we have to fill in this information first of all the name of the campaign again to understand this i'm going to take you to ai sensei so we create a lots of whatsapp templates now these templates are basically pre-written messages that can be sent to your users and they can be personalized okay now i'm going to take you to campaigns now here within campaigns i have already attached these templates so here i have already created a campaign which is send whatsapp messages i'm going to show you the same so the campaign type is api this here is the message type this is the template name and here is the date of creation and time now as i take you down this here is my template that i have created thank you for submitting the form this is the header then here we have hello then there's a number within double curly braces thank you for submitting the form we have received your details name email address and phone number and here we have numbers within double curly braces someone from our team will call you in next two hours meanwhile you can check our website another number thanks another number then team now what are these numbers these numbers are basically variables that can be altered with every message so every time you have received a new lead you will receive a different name email address phone number you can always customize the message because these values will be changed automatically similarly here you have the website address and the name of the team so either if this is static you can write this manually and if this is dynamic then you can always map this so now i need the name of this template so this here is the name of the template i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and here i'm going to paste the same now let's remove the refresh part then we have the mobile number so i'm going to map this value how i'll click on this go to step one and this here is the number now it is mentioned that you have to enter the number with the country code and the plus sign so here i'm just going to add the plus sign now this method with which i have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration had i written the same number manually then even when i had received a new lead with a different mobile number it wouldn't have taken that instead it would have taken the same mobile number that we have just written manually so to avoid that we map the information next we have the user's name so let's go to step one this is the first name i'm going to give a space and this here is the last name so this becomes the complete name of the user now what is the source of your lead so here it is elemento form then we have the tags so here you wish you can always add tags like new lead etc then we have template parameter so if you want parameter values to fill in a template message then you have to enter that here so here i am going to enter all the variables so first of all here we had the first name then we had the complete name so i am going to first map the first name which is this now let's separate this with a comma go to step one once again and now i need the first name and then space and the last name okay then what do we need we need the email and phone number so next i am going to have the email address and then we have the phone number now here the name of the company and the address website address are going to remain static so i'm just going to write that manually www.pabli.com and pabli connect okay next we have the attributes so here you can enter attributes json here as shown here then we have the url so if you have any url that you're supposed to send along with this whatsapp message you can enter the same here and here you will have to enter the file name now i'm going to click on save and send test request 
And here you can see we have received the response according to which now a WhatsApp message must be received by our new lead. Let's go and check the same. And yes, we have received the message. So this basically means that our integration is a success. Now let's check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to the contact form and here I'm going to preview it once again. So let's say this time the first name is new. Last name here is dummy. Then we have the email address which is new dummy at pablitudes.com. Then here we have the contact number. And then we have the age. Let's say the age is 67. I'm going to click on submit. Now the form has been submitted. Let me take you to WhatsApp. And yes, we have received another message. So this means our integration is a complete success. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, let's understand what we have done. So here our trigger was Elemental, where the event was new form submission. And our action application was WhatsApp by AISNC, where the event was to send template message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.